Hello everyone, this is Brad Dale for Time to Talk Tech. Today we're going to take a look at Kahoot. Uh, Kahoot's a nice student response system um, that really, it really has kind of a gaming type feel. As you can see, there are lots and lots and lots of public Kahoots. Um, I just created uh, the one up here. It's an easy way to join. I just created one um, that is not in my my teacher account it's my personal account anyway what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, click on quiz and what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a title i'm just going to call it sample whoops and i'm not going to put a picture i'm just going to do sample kahoot here visible to everyone it's up to you could be only to you english whatever language you want to use and then your audience in this case it's going to be for training and click on OK go and here you go this is how simple it is you just need to add a question so first question where is geez, is this monument located now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add image uh, if you are gonna add images that are not your own uh, something I recommend is to go on to go to Pixabay and in this case, I'm going to type in Washington, D.C., and I'll show you I actually ended up grabbing the Washington Monument there. I already downloaded that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here, and there it is. Click on Open, and you'll see it come up here. I'll go through, put in some possibilities. New York, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia. And in the city. Okay, now I'm going to select the correct answer, which is Washington, D.C., and we're going to select next. I'm going to add one more question. Just make this simple. In this case, I'm going to say, Where is this monument located? And again, I, uh, I had the Statue of Liberty. Open that and I will say New York, Philadelphia, Paris, and let's say, mm, <laughs> all right, so in this case it is New York, I'm going to select here. Now, here's something, you can select uh, the time limits, 20 seconds, I like, but if you don't want that super competitive feel, for students, I mean, you can always make it a little bit longer, or uh, you can take off award points. And the award points is the faster you answer the question, the more points they earn. Um, I'll show you both. Uh, on the previous question, I left it open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Next. If you ever want to go back, you can just click the Edit button here, and you can change what things look like up there. Now I'm going to click on Save. And now it's up to you. You can share it, play it, preview it, edit. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to use one of my favorite extensions. It's called Tab Resize. It's a great way to show a number of things at once. In this case, I'm going to have four tabs up at once. I know it looks like a lot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Play It. And what you're going to do is you will see, come up here, and... Uh, in this case, I'm going to do the classic mode. You can do team mode, so you have the whole group uh, together. There are options under here as well to randomize order questions, randomize the order of answers. So display the game pin throughout. It's up to you. Um, personal preference. And do the classic mode. Now, what your students will need to do is they will need to type in kahoot.it. And you have that nice <laughs> sound in the background. I'm going to have three players going at once just to show you what it looks like. Okay. You can see the game pin is here, 905658, 905658, okay. 905, oops, uh, nickname. Again, nicknames, up to you. Sometimes uh, people like putting in their own names, sometimes others. Um, Personal preference, however it is, you work with your class, and you know your class better than anyone. So, you know, it is up to you. 
Let us see, Sydney. In this case, I'm going to come up here, 905658. Okay. Jack, click on OK Go, click on OK. And you can see, naughty nicknames beware. <laughs> That's funny. Um, there we go. Okay. Two players are in, and we'll do one more. 905658, enter. And I will say Brad. Okay. Now there are three players in. And then here you are as the teacher. I'll turn this down a little bit. So these are your students. Now they can be on a phone. They can be on a Chromebook. They could be on a desktop. They could be on MacBook. You name it. They could be on any type device. So I'm going to click on start. And here's what they would see. Where is this monument located? Okay. So they see this projected up there, and they say, ooh, that is Washington. So they're going to click on here. There's another one, and I'll say there. All right, right away, you can see two had it correct, one had it wrong. And then the points were awarded since... Uh, Jack answered it faster than Brad. It's a little bit more, and Sydney had it incorrect. We're now going to go on to the next question. Okay, and it ranks them first, second, third, first, second, third, in this case. One more. Where is this one located? Okay, so Sydney says, oh, that's in New York. Uh, Brad says Moscow, and Jack says Philadelphia. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You can see all questions were asked. We're going to go to next. You can see the point value. As soon as you hit next, all of a sudden, uh, it says that uh, 744 points behind Brad. We're going to click on end quiz. Jack ended up 827. And the reason why the points didn't come up is because in that one, we took the points off. So you can see that's why it's a first, second, third, because point-wise, Jack still had the most, and Sydney had the least, but she did answer that question faster. So you can see why I personally like the points being off if I'm doing a review game. Um, you know, again, that is up to you. You click on end. Boom, boom, and there you go. So it's all... Um, it's all, it's all positive. Um, it's just how, how your students would react to it. Feedback and results, you can look at this. Um, rate this Kahoot, you know, so they can go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and rate it. Did you learn something? They can say, you know, yes. Do you recommend it? Yes. Uh, tell us how you feel. So on and so forth. It's a, it's a great site. Um, I'm going to click, I'm going to close out of these real quickly. All right and show you um, there are over 9 million Kahoots that are actually, um, you can see. So if I'm going to go into, go back into Kahoot, um, let's just say I'm done. If you're thinking of, hey, I want to find some other Kahoots, what you can do is you can just click on Public Kahoots and look it up. Take a look here. Look at the color wheel. Uh, ancient American civilizations. Take a look for your audience. Um, what type do you want? Uh, maybe you want something dealing with nouns or verbs. And so if I typed in verbs, okay, here's some right here. You can play it uh, right away. Uh, you can share it. You can click on it and say, oh, that's kind of neat. So maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. Uh, this one has 25 questions. You could then, you can preview it so you can really take a look at it, or you can just say duplicate it. Okay. So in this now, now this is mine. I can go through and I can edit it and change it however I, however I would like to. Um, great site, fun site. It's a lot of fun, especially to make up your own and possibly do it at a, uh, you know, at your house, uh, at a, at a party. Um, you know, you name it. There are a lot of great uses to this. And, uh, again, it's all about positive reinforcement. It's all about helping and all about 
you know, getting those students to see how how fun this can be, um, and uh, and going from there. So there are a lot of uh, new things going on with Kahoot as well. Um, there's ones called Ghost Mode, and in Ghost Mode, what that would do is students would then play themselves at the end. Um, you can see it's a great way to compete against themselves as well as each other. Um, there is also ones dealing with team mode, answer streak bonus. There's lots going on here. Again, it's up to you. Take a look at it. Should you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to help or um, do anything I can for you. So thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.